102 seats in 21 states. And let's bring up the graphics so that we can indicate where it's happening. Uh, small states and union territories, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. It's also taking place in Arunachal Pradesh, two seats uh, over there. Assam, five seats, so a part of Assam. Bihar, four seats. The south of Bihar, Chhattisgarh, just one, uh, one seat. Jammu and Kashmir, just one seat. Lakshadweep, the Lakshadweep Islands has only one, so one seat over there. Uh, Madhya Pradesh, six. So the, the, the east and the southeast of Madhya Pradesh, significantly five in Maharashtra. But as we go through this, also Manipur, two seats over there. Most of the states in the northeast will be covered uh, tomorrow in many of their seats. Uh, two seats in Meghalaya as well. Nagaland, one seat. And uh, Puducherry, one. And then, of course, uh, Rajasthan, 12. So not all, about half the number of seats in Rajasthan. Sikkim, uh, one. And uh, finally, the really big one tomorrow in terms of the overall number of seats, more than any other state, 39 of 39 seats in Rajasthan uh, go uh, to uh, voting tomorrow. But let's give you an idea of what happened in 2019. The phase one results in 2019, all of these seats that we are talking about, um, the results in 102 seats, the NDA had 147, the India Alliance, of course the India Alliance didn't exist then, but those representing the India Alliance now had 149. So a slender lead to the India Alliance then in those states, led primarily by the performance of uh, the Congress and its allies, the DMK of course, in Tamil Nadu. Uh, in terms of uh, the number of seats, if you look at the two major parties, the Congress well below the BJP, which had done well as an individual party. The number, uh, as I mentioned, was driven last time around primarily by that Tamil Nadu situation where uh, the DMK did well. 102 constituencies in phase one in numbers. These are the constituencies which will be going to polls tomorrow. 16.6 .6 crore uh, voters will be involved uh, tomorrow, 1,625 candidates. We've got a breakup of those candidates. 134 of those candidates are women. 1.87 lakh polling stations. It is a mammoth exercise, but then what is it mammoth about our election process? 18 lakh security personnel and others also deployed for this particular process. And it is just the first phase of these elections. It's going to be a long hot summer, uh, and it's all starting out now.